we doing this to each other? Why are you being stupid, Arthur? Well, what's wrong with this move? Checkmate. Inform moves. How? I move my bishop here, so you just have to go there. So, I put my rook here, so you could only move there. Or there. But then I could put my other rook here. Do you, do you see? What you want to do is go here. Why are you knocking your king down? Because I'm not playing you anymore. You're playing you. I can't hear you. Let's make some tea. Do you want to play again? Maybe in a little while. Oh, Arthur. Yes, Percy? What's a sore loser? Oh, touche. All right, set them up. We'll go again. I like playing chess with you, Arthur. Personal. That's the quarantine grid. Oh, I hope I don't regret this. Attention all staff. A downer with plague has escaped from the test labs. Please consider him armed and dangerous. Be on your guard. There you are. If 
been waiting for you. How long until the coconut joy takes effect? There we go. Lovely. Now, Dr. Brooks is going to bring in a series of disturbing happy idiot stimuli. Again. Hopefully, with the coconut joy I've given you, you won't be a bit bothered. We won't actually see the stimuli. There's a blind between us and you, and a blind between you and the stimuli. It's what we call a double blind experiment. Off you go. Don't forget to write. <laughs> That's my little joke. I know you've forgotten how to write.
I'm sorry, sir. The broadcast tower has been quarantined. Well, I think if you examine the gate, you'll see that it's been unquarantined. Oh, so it has. Well then, I'll just bugger off, shan't I? <laughs> Enjoy your visit. Sandwich off a downer. This right, that I'm cutting. I think the rail tracks are just past those revolvers. They really don't want anyone down here, do they? collapsed. So much for the tracks. Oh, I hope I don't have to go up there. fumes. Of the first one here. Oh shit. Prudence. inherent in the system. I hope I can get back to the tracks through the mine somehow. Oh, 
wrong with all this stuff? You better throw something away before something starts chasing you. Perfectly safe going into the mines. What are the odds they'll collapse again, eh? I know you. The, uh, executive committee asked me to see how things are going down here. About bloody time. I've been asking them for months. They think everything's peachy keen down here. It's not peachy keen, is it? I don't suppose you saw anyone working on the way in? Unless they were disguising it terribly well, no. They get dirty if they forget to go topside. The XCOM sent me to inspect the... The machine over there. The bucket wheel excavator. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Did you happen to notice a bloody great hole on your way in? That's because we delved too sloppily and too deep with that thing, and half the mine collapsed. I told the gang to stick to picks and shovels. We start that beast up again, the rest of the mine is going to collapse and take the entire bloody parade with it. That's quite alarming. Have you removed the activator? Ah, uh, no. The gang don't seem very interested in starting it up. Well, I think you'd better let me remove the activator. I don't want any accidents. Ah, uh, all right. You'll need my keycard. I'll let them know you need relief. By God, you are the most on-the-ball person I've seen in years. Are you sure you're not a downer? Uh... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Excavated thing to cross that abyss. I wonder how you turn it on. I've got it. What if you come with me? And I'm due old. What if I sneak you on the train? That's against. That's against the rules. Well, if we get caught, I'll just say there was a mix-up and you can play dumb. Are you sure? Remember how I snuck you on the camping trip? Didn't it work out brilliantly? Just trust me. I trust you, Arthur. I said I trust you, Arthur. We'll go to Germany together. We'll take care of each other, no matter what happens.
Great moustache. Watch out for scurvy. Uncle Jack says. Till I'm gone. Are you really doing this to find Percy? I mean, where would you even look for him? Is he even alive? Is he in Russia? How would you even get to Germany? Oh good, I'm finally back on the right track. Huh. You know where I'm going in holidays? Spain. You're doing this because you don't have a strong enough sense of self-preservation to leave Wellington Wells on your own account. On you. Christmas. you need the guilt. Oh no, with the turkeys and the roast beef. Mr. Hastings. Just when I'd given up all hope of seeing an engineer. You know, sir, we've come to the end of our time. Some of us cut and run. Some of us stand by our post. Some of us take care of our brother. My brother? What are you saying? All men is brothers, sir. Right. <laughs> of course. Damn thing so itchy. These times like these what try men's souls, sir. They try men's souls. I know you. Please keep your hands inside the train. It is very dangerous to You must get back on the train. The windows of the train. Where'd you go? Arthur! You must get back on board! No, I'm just here to take my brothers to the train. Mr. No, Percival Hastings. No. Is that me? Arthur, Percy? No, no. People call me Percy. Please, no. Someone has written on this card that you are a bit dim and you can't be roaming about on your own. You don't seem dim. Right, well, um, Mum thinks I can't... Mum no. thinks I can't... No, no. Mum thinks no, I can't no, take Arthur, care please. of myself. Arthur. But I can. To tell the truth, I really did want to go to Germany with my brother, Arthur. See, we, we'd sort of take care of each other. So I tried to sneak on, but then Arthur said, no, we have to follow the rules. Is that so? I'll just run along home. Mum's probably worried sick. Can I go? 
This is a day we may all come to regret, Mr. Hastings. But I am not going to put one more child on that train than my duty obligates me to do. Run along, then. Sir, are you all right? I'll best be on my way. I did something terrible. Oh, we've all done things we regret, sir. Some of them we regretted as we done them. Some of them never quite go away. I told him we'd go to Germany together. I told him I'd hold our passports and then I walked off the train. With his passport. He didn't know how to talk to anyone but me. I can't make it up to him now. Can I? No, sir. I imagine you cannot. Then who is there to forgive me? Some try to forget. I can't do that. Not anymore. Well, I suppose you... You must treat it as a gift. To know who you are. Without that, there's no hope for wisdom. I wish I still believed in some sort of mercy. Life goes on. <laughs> that is the mercy. Come on, sir. Once you're out there, you'll know what to do. Add three cc's. Well, let's just fire this up. Please don't blow up in the next 30 seconds. 